Hello everyone, I'm Jen, your Delaware Realtor. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am a local Delaware real estate agent that basically covers the entire state because we are so small. So whether you're looking to buy or sell in Delaware, I would absolutely love the opportunity to help you. My information is down below in the description, so please feel free to send me an email. All right, so here is your market report for Delaware for April, 2024. We had 1,722 new listings come on the market, which is an increase of less than 100 homes from March. We had 1,113 homes go pending and we had 1,081 homes close, which is a slight increase from the previous month. The average days on market decreased to 41 days with the average selling price also decreasing to $458,710. The average interest rate for a 30 year fixed rate increased to 7.03% according to Freddie Mac. This month's data is a mixed bag of trends. While more homes are coming on the market and selling more quickly, the drop in average selling price could suggest that buyers are becoming more price sensitive, which is likely caused from the higher interest rates. This rise in rates could affect buyer demand, which is an important trend that we need to keep an eye on as we move forward. With talking with other agents in the industry and also real estate professionals such as inspectors, roofing, and plumbing, I'm starting to see and hear a trend of essentially keeping a home in the family. I think what's happening here is that many families are starting to realize that it may be cheaper for them to purchase a home off of mom and dad or a grandparent or even an aunt and uncle. And even if that home needs a little bit of work, it's much easier to purchase that home than say go on the market and be up against multiple offers. I'm also seeing an uptick in multi-generational homes as more and more homes become unaffordable. Looking ahead to the coming months, I fully expect Delaware's real estate market to remain very active. Even with rising rates, the demand for homes in Delaware is going to remain high because of our attractive location, low property taxes, and community amenities. I fully expect to see a steady amount of listings come on the market, especially as we head into the warmer months. This is normally where we see an uptick in activity with buying and selling. Now, if interest rates continue to rise, buyers will become cautious, which may cause a slight cool off as we head into the later months of 2024. Now, for those that have been waiting for rates to decrease in 2024, you may be waiting until 2025 or even later than that because inflation continues to rise. So I do not see rates dropping anytime soon. Now, as always, you have to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss an important update. As always, I really hope that this video helped. If it did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. If you are a buyer that is looking to purchase in Delaware, I would absolutely love the opportunity to help you. My information is down below in the description or you can schedule a one-on-one -on -one buyer consultation with me. If you are a seller that is looking to sell your property in Delaware, I would also love the opportunity to help you. My information is down below in the description or there is a link for an instant valuation of what your home is worth. Once again, I really hope this video helped. If it did, be sure to give me a thumbs up, be sure to subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one. Hey, if you're thinking about retiring to Delaware, you should definitely check out this video right here. And if you would love to tour Delaware communities with me, check out this playlist right here. And don't forget, subscribe to my channel.